Honorable Duarte Pacheco, President of the Inter-Parliamentary Union, Honorable Wolfgang Sobotka, President of the Austrian National Council, Honorable Martin Chungong, Secretary General of the Inter-Parliamentary Union, Honorable Speakers and Members of Parliament, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, I am deeply grateful to the Inter-Parliamentary Union or the IPU, the Parliament of Austria, and the United Nations for this invaluable opportunity to share our insights on opportunities and challenges for more effective multilateralism within the context of our rapidly changing geopolitical and economic landscape. The theme of this year's conference, Parliamentary Leadership for More Effective Multilateralism is appropriate and timely. There has been a growing call for reimagined multilateralism, one which works better and empowers our citizens, makes them prosperous, and leaves no one behind. My fellow parliamentarians, during this time of crisis, our strong leadership will be needed. Underlying the efforts to address the pandemic must be our readiness to adopt a more sustainable model or paradigm of development. The pandemic has allowed us to rethink our present ways of doing things, and we have actively engaged in discussions on how to build back better. Our strong leadership is also needed to earn the trust of the people. At the international level, the global deployment of life-saving vaccines could have been more equitable and within the spirit of solidarity with other nations. Such strains may affect people's trust in their respective governments and in the multilateral system. Building our people's trust in international cooperation is equally essential. In recent years, both the UN and the IPU have communicated the important role of parliaments in this undertaking. Parliaments are veritable bastions of democracy and they provide vital links between the national and global levels. We represent our people, mobilizing their support to matters of international relevance and bringing their interests to multilateral organizations. My fellow parliamentarians, under my watch, our first order of business was to make funds available for COVID-19 response initiatives and to provide safeguards to ensure its proper utilization. We ensure the timely passage of our 2021 national budget and other measures such as the COVID-19 Vaccination Program app to expedite the procurement of vaccines. We likewise continue to pursue the necessary structural reforms that will promote economic stability and recovery. Let me emphasize, however, that our efforts to respond properly to COVID-19 have also been assisted by the United Nations. The UN response to COVID-19 has spanned the entire country and the full humanitarian peace building development nexus. We note that the ongoing pandemic has provided the opportunity for us to not only enact measures which address COVID-19 related concerns, but also contribute to the attainment of the SDGs at the same time. For example, our social amelioration program benefits about 18 million poor households, including 4.4 million households enrolled in our safety net program, Pantawid Pamilyang Pilipino Program. Moving forward, strong parliamentary leadership is the key to making greater contributions toward a multilateralism that works and delivers. Let me extend my congratulations to the IPU's leadership under President Duarte Pacheco and to the entire IPU organization and its members for its pivotal work. Finally, on behalf of the Philippine House of Representatives, allow me to express our renewed commitment to the ideals of the United Nations and to support the goals of the International Parliamentary Union with the ends in view of enhancing peace and security at the regional and global levels and of achieving more inclusive multilateralism for all. Thank you.